Welcome to Mount Pleasant. Today we will be joined by Lieutenant Colonel Mike Prunty, who will share the significance of Mount Pleasant through some of his stories. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Mike Prunty and I was a cadet here in 1970. I entered Duntroon, just over here, and graduated in 1973. There has been significant change and growth in Canberra since 1912, but some things have stayed the same. Duntroon's parade grounds are still used today, where cadets graduate. Robert Campbell's house is still standing, although it is currently being used for a different purpose. The view of the Molongolo River is now guarded by trees, but can still be seen, and the airport is in full view. The significance of Mount Pleasant is that uh, Robert Campbell, the original owners of the land that Duntroon was uh, formed on, um, regarded this as a pleasant place for a picnic. Lieutenant Mike Prunty has some of his own stories to tell. I also remember being on duty up here, as I said earlier, firing the artillery pieces. We would come up dressed in our ceremonial blues and do formal uh, salutes, 21-gun uh, salutes for um, Queen Elizabeth's birthday or Queen's birthday weekend. And that was quite a formal occasion. And uh, we were trained on the artillery pieces, the old Second World War 25-pounders. But it was an enjoyable experience, but uh, one that uh, you didn't want to do too often. Mount Pleasant was an all work and no play, as Mike will explain. Memories was this, these grounds are still inside the college grounds and on occasions, uh, particularly if we were given stoppage or leave for some minor infraction of uh, discipline, we weren't allowed out, but being inside the grounds we could notionally go for a run and we in fact met our girlfriends who would drive up here on a Saturday night and um, that was certainly the, the way things happened in uh, the early 1970s. Thank you for listening and thank you Mike Pronti.